the best, the lively and colorful Riverwalk. Just part of what makes San Antonio such a great town. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Well, we're seeing a new trend in NBA practices. Coaches are marking the court in different ways to help players visualize where they need to be. Take, for example, a four-point line, rewarding players for stretching their shooting range. And a corner three, in some cases, is worth four points in practice. And that encourages players to take that high-value shot. There's a lot of coaches thinking outside the box by drawing new boxes on the court. Kevin? A lot of talk about this, David. Some new ground, certainly, to look at. Thank you. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Taking a look at Brooklyn, fourth in the conference, an excellent season so far for them, though they'd like to jump into the top tier, maybe the top three. And seeing where the Nets are, this season has been, it's been solid. But they just need to maintain their place in the standings and get 100% prepared here for the postseason. I don't think they played their best basketball. So that if things do come together for them before the end of the regular season, look out. So the Nets starting five, Prince and Durant are at the three and the four. Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. And it's Jordan in at the five. Home in the paint. And for San Antonio, it's Aldridge at the power forward with Pirtle at center. DeJounte Murray is out there with Derek White. And it's DeRozan in at the three spot. Now, here is Irving. It's Lavert on the wing. Over Murray. The rebound by the Spurs. They're getting their first look of the season at the Nets in this one. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find in the NBA. Split the season series down the middle, one apiece. Win one, lose one. This might be the case again for both teams this coming season. Now here's Murray to the inside. And Aldridge gets it to go on the assist from DeRozan. Well, Smitty, as we know, there's talk of playing more regular season games overseas. Good idea, or is the season hard enough as it is? I like the balance where it is right now, Kevin. A few games, you get a chance to go overseas, um, you know, during the season or preseason, but just add more travel. I don't know if it's a good idea. That one falls. The offense was firing on all cylinders, and that's the exact kind of shot they wanted. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Now here's Murray. 11 points for him in that last game against Houston. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming. Four on the shot clock. Durant with the steal. Prince against White. Prince the pass to Levert. Down low, Durant shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Jakob Pertl. And KD at times in his career shooting over 10 free throws a game. One of the best in the league at working himself to the line. Brooklyn shooting their first free throws of the game right now. And the first one at the line is good. And at this point, there simply is no doubt that Kevin Durant is one of the great shooters to ever play the game. The only question is just where on the all-time list will he land when we talk about the unstoppable score. And KD drops them both. And with Durant, perhaps the most amazing part, he can have quiet nights, Greg, of 30-plus points. Kevin, his scores are just so easy for him that you forget you aren't supposed to see seven-foot sharpshooters doing it. He can score from anywhere in any fashion and can hold his own with any player in history in terms of how unguardable he is. Here's White over Irvin. And it's White missing. And the Nets with possession. Here's Levert. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. 
a silky smooth playmaker Irving on time and on point the Spurs have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far guys they're looking for a spark here yeah a cold stretch offensively for sure for three Murray Jordan with the rebound not the efficient start they were hoping for only one for four from the field and it's Levert missing got a piece of it here's KD first shot first basket he's out of the blocks fast the wiry strength of Kevin Durant enabling him to guide it home Irving against Murray. Here's Pirtle. Buries it from three-point range. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Prince outside. Here's Jordan. The shot comes out. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. You guys, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out, though. If you're going to shoot in the low 30s, you're going to end up losing a lot of games. They couldn't hit a thing out there. With that awful shooting percentage, you will be lucky to win one game in this league. Now, here's Durant following the miss by DeRozan. He loves to fire up his team with the big finish. KD rocking the rim. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Aldridge. We saw him with 10 points last game. And that one is good. Aldridge has got his second basket of the night. That's just the money area for LaMarcus. That's the shot you want your offense to produce. Murray against Irving. Outside, KD. San Antonio with the rebound. Here's DeRozan. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. You have to put DeRozan on the short list for best finishers in the NBA. He is fearless going to the rack. Irving drives in, and it's sent back by Aldridge. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Murray. DeRozan's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Durant. A 14-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Trailing by two. Pass to Pirtle. Three-pointer. Jordan with the rebound. Nets have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Lavert kicks to Irving. Pass to Jordan. Back to Irving. To the middle. Durant no good and you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket but on that one they were there I can't wait to see Murray reach his full potential reason why because he has a lot of it a season lost to injury for DeJounte Murray he's eager to make up for the lost time continuing his development Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And the potential Smith for DeJounte Murray is evident. He's already a tough defender. He has great size and length for the point guard position. Offense is where he has to grow. Dinwiddie is checked in for Irving. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Dinwiddie passes to Durant. And the ability to create something out of nothing is so rare to find 
but Kevin Durant has it. Whether it's a bailout shot to beat the shot clock or just a hard dribble and pull up, he can always get a shot off. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? good from Durant Kevin Durant as a rookie to Kevin Durant right now the difference is he's comfortable being a vocal leader both good from the line that time because he knows he makes a living at the line he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it Dinwiddie with the steal and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And with Durant, he's making it look so easy. You're just used to seeing him get the shot he wants. You have to respect his pull-up, his drive, his threes, his fadeaways. It's a nightmare for defenders. That unpredictability is why Jimmy Butler called Durant the hardest player to guard in the league. That one misses. And the 6'6 point guard, Spencer Dinwiddie. Second round pick of the Detroit Pistons in 2014. You know, Greg, they might have wished they held on to him. One of the most improved players in our league. Last season, he signed that four-year, $48 million extension from the Nets, rewarding his growth. Injuries pressing Derek White into a much bigger role in year two. But you know what, Smitty? He rose to the occasion. You know, I love him. He has great size, a 6'4 for a point guard. Good instincts. He can shoot. He can create. I love his versatility. Shoot two. And the first one drops. And with the signing of Durant and Irving, along with DeAndre Jordan, Greg... Are the Brooklyn Nets now claiming the mantle for the top team in New York? Listen, they were already the better team a season ago after stealing the Knicks' thunder in free agency, acquiring the superstar talent. They're poised to steal the Knicks' cultural relevance as well. So one for two that time at the strike. A 29th pick in 2017 by the Spurs. Their injuries last year created an opportunity for Jerick White to show Greg what he can do with steady minutes. And White at 6'4", capable of manning either guard spot, a shooter, a playmaker, and an all-defensive team in college. He is definitely a keeper. Aldridge, the pass to Murray. On the wing to Rosen. And here's White. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Rockets in Houston. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Durant, no good. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. DeRozan with it. Guarded now by Prince. Let's it go from deep. And it's DeRozan missing. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Levert. He's off on that one. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Murray against Dinwiddie. Here's the floater. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Nets leading by five. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Not just hanging out on the perimeter. Prince showing his versatility and can challenge you at the rim. The Brooklyn Nets come into this one after a win against New Orleans. 
Murray the pass to White. Here's Gay. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Aldridge. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. I love the vision by DeMar DeRozan. He found the wide open teammate. Prince outside. Now the pass to Durant. Now Jordan. Shot clock at five. Levert from outside. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Smitty, here's an interesting question. Over the next five years, which player wins the most MVPs? You know, I think it's Giannis. Uh, he's looking like the favorite right now because the way he's playing, he has a possibility to win the MVP now. And then I think also because of his age, he's the one guy. And also Anthony Davis could catch Giannis. He has that type of talent. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Lyles check in for Aldridge. Bellinelli comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Derek White. And it's Mills in for Murray. Nobody near Gay. Drops in the tray. Doing his part to help stretch the defense. Gay looking confident from range. Now here's Dinwiddie. Covered by Mills. Allen right side. It's tipped. Got a hand on it. A second chance effort. And slam dunk by Allen. Spurs trail by seven. Hills with it. And uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game. Passes it to Lyles. He tries for three. The rebound by the Nets. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. So it's the Spurs now. After the basket by Brooklyn. Mills can't hit. Brooklyn leading by nine. Dinwiddie left side. Here's Harris. Gay with the block. A pretty good defender. Gay using that 7-3 wingspan. Well, get that shot out of here. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now here's Mills. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Wound up there for Allen. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Here's Mills. Jared Allen making his last shot. That one's off. Still out of sync. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter. And it's Harris off the drive. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Nets lead by 15. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. San Antonio calls timeout, and the veteran Wilson Chandler played at a lot of stops in his career, and he'll always find minutes. You're so right. With Chandler, you can slide him into the three or the four in most lineups. Injuries have added up, and he'll usually miss games during the year. But when he's available, he's a big help. Now here's Mills. That's tipped. Harris looking it over. And Dinwiddie gets it to go on the assist from Harris. Dinwiddie's got six. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Now here's Mills. Dinwiddie covering. Mills dishes to Gay. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the first. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Jared Allen. 
got to appreciate the physicality of Gay's game. A strong athlete who forces the D to hit him inside. The Spurs have shot 75% at the line tonight, going Take three for four. Take a break. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts, right around 78%. The first free throw is good. Some players never recover from a torn Achilles. Rudy Gay has come back and as good as ever. Still one of the most productive small forwards we have in the league. Gay hits them both. A really solid shooter once he gets to the line. And Rudy Gay has gotten to the line a lot in his career. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got six. Feeds to Allen. And it's Allen with the jam. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home. Another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Here's Lyles. After the basket by Brooklyn. We've got 28 seconds left here in the first quarter. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. He dishes it to Allen. Dinwiddie passes to Harris. Three-pointer. And it's Allen slamming it down. Well, they had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for Brooklyn. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. One of the league's best point guards, Kyrie Irving, had this to say about his competition. 2011, I came into a league where the point guard position was still being revolutionized, and now guys are solidifying that spot every single year. There are young guys coming in, but now we have established point guards that are franchise-changing point guards. And for me, having that competitive drive every single game, I know I'm going against an elite point guard every single game. So I think that now coming into the league, it's a lot different than it was before. Some say, Greg, a golden age at the point guard position. Yeah, and Irving right there with the best of them. Uh, he embraces the challenge. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Nets enjoying a nice lead here. Throughout that first, they just were aggressive on the defensive end, showing active hands and they took advantage of some careless ball handling some careless passing you have to be more careful around these guys and now brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset our lineups setting the floor for the Nets they've got Jared Allen Harris is out there with Spencer Dinwiddie then it's Wilson Chandler and it's Claxton in at the power forward position Kyrie Irving's checked in for Brooklyn And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. 17-point game. To the paint. Some solid defense from Harris. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Irving passes to Allen. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. That one on Jakob Pertl. And a one-year player at Texas, Jared Allen came into the league as a bit of a project. He's got ample playing time to develop in Brooklyn.
And Greg, safe to say, Allen's defense is ahead of his offense. Yeah, but, but his mobility and leaping ability serve him well as a finisher, providing that vertical spacing teams like to have inside. Now here's Gay. Eight points his last outing. Back to Pirtle. Down to five on the shot clock. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Brooklyn leading by 20. It's stolen by Bellinelli. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Gay outside, fires from deep. Here's Pirtle. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Got to be on the lookout for Pirtle crashing the glass, using his body to wreck the defense on the boards. Here's Irving. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. A career best season for Kyrie Irving in 2018-19. Scoring just as great as ever, but it was the other areas, playmaking, rebounding, defense, where he made tremendous strides. And the Celtics expected Kyrie to become a better passer and defender in Boston. They felt he had the capability. You could argue that those improvements have elevated him from a great scorer to a great player in our league. Here is Forbes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Just five on the clock. Lyles. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Dinwiddie passes to Harris. Gay with the defensive effort. Spurs trail by 21. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. It's hauled in by Claxton. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Harris inside the line. And again, no good by Brooklyn. San Antonio's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Gay against Dinwiddie. In it goes. That's his third bucket. He's missed five so far. Over the years, Rudy Gay has added a lot of bulk to his frame. You see it right there off contact. Outside Irving. Jacks up a three. That shot missing. So the Spurs will take it the other way. LaMarcus Aldridge has checked in for San Antonio. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Marco Bellinelli. And the Nets making a change here as well. Kevin Durant's checked in for Harris. The Spurs have gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Pass to Aldridge. He kicks it to DeRozan. Pass to Gay. The baseline J. And it's sent back by KD. You forget, Durant has the reach of a center. He can provide rim protection. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Spurs trail by 21. Here is Forbes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Gay outside. Six to shoot. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Offensive rebound. Goes up again. And it's good on the way up. Gay's got 11. Exactly the result you want from that trip up the court. Rudy Gay with a look from point-blank range. Irving kicks to KD. Back to Irving. Shoots the three. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. And so it's San Antonio with it. 
Here is Forbes. Gay outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And you look at all the under-the-radar prospects that have found success with the Spurs. How do they keep hitting on all these players other teams have missed? They do a great job with their player development. They also do a great job identifying players with great character. They have guys who work extremely hard. They have great coaching, and they teach. Two two. But more importantly, what they do, G.A., they give you confidence. And that's where I think the Spurs separate from other organizations. That's good from Rudy Gay. When it comes to just the love for the game, Smitty, does every NBA player have to have that, or is it possible to not love the game, embrace the game, and, 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 and work through it in that way? You know, I think 90% of the guys have a love for the game. I think there are some guys that just don't love it, but they play it, um, and there's nothing wrong with that, as long as it doesn't, I guess, spill over to the guys that love it. There are some plays, I played with some players, after they left the gym, they didn't think about a game, of watching the game, playing the game. But when they're on the court, they gave a 110% effort. There are some guys that just love it, and there are some guys that just like it. But I know you, and you did. You loved the game. I still love it, Kevin. Still love I it. Know. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> now here's Murray. Following the miss by Kyrie Irving. Murray. And it's blocked by Jordan. Can't be careless with DeAndre is around. He slaps shots back with some real authority. And Durant is right there. Durant's got four points now in the quarter. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Last season, it took some time for the Spurs to jail with the early injuries and new faces. They played their best basketball down the stretch. Took the second seeded Nuggets to seven games. Levert's check in for Spencer Dinwiddie. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at Brooklyn, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And right now, Brooklyn, they've come out with a vengeance. I don't care what anyone said about them or their chances to start the year. Now let's see if they can maintain this momentum. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Kenny Atkinson, who's a native of Long Island, now has his dream job, coaching the Brooklyn Nets. He doesn't need praise or recognition. Instead, he's fueled by the fear of failure. He says, I always feel like I'm one banana peel away from never being in the NBA again. And Kevin, he's got his team playing with that same determination. David, he sure does. Thank you very much. And the Spurs with possession here. After the basket by Brooklyn. White down low. Overt defending. And that one drops. In the back half of last season, the Spurs posting a nine-game winning streak. Steve, what changed for them? You know, Kevin, for me, they toughen up their defense. They move Jakob Pertl into the starting lineup at the five position. And they also, they found that chemistry, and they got going. Here's Levert following the bucket by the Spurs. Fires from 14. The rebound by Prince. Brooklyn leading by 22. Here's Irving. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. And he is really in a zone right now. Playing and scoring with confidence. San Antonio's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Here's Murray. And no good. Jordan with some nice D. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. White the pass to Aldridge. Back to White. Great D that time from Irving. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Here's Levert. It's rebounded by Aldridge. 
Aldridge has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Mills, he's checked in for DeJounte Murray. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Here's DeRozan. The rebound by the Nets. Irving surveying the floor. Jordan trying to free himself up. The shot's good from Irving. Irving's got 10. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now Mills. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And before his scary foot dislocation in November of 2018, Karis LeVert enjoying a breakout season. Uh, Greg even garnering some most improved buzz around the NBA. Yeah, and fortunately, the injury not as bad as it looked initially. Uh, he's looking to continue that impressive trajectory. And Finn Heckling, that crosses the line, Smitty. We saw the Utah Jazz ban someone for life. How can the NBA do a better job of protecting the players? Well, Kevin, first of all, I think each organization, let's take our hat off to the Utah Jazz. They acted swiftly and quickly, and I love what they did. They banned the fan for life, and I think you got to get more of that. And also, I think, you know, as far as the NBA and also along with these teams, have some kind of pregame, or like you said, before the season start, just reinforcing and stating the rules. San Antonio's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Mills with it. Now Chandler defending. Gay inside. He's against Jordan. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Here's Levert. Make it 5 for 10 with him in that bucket. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And the dunk by DeRozan. If you can get a good screen for DeRozan on a pick and roll, more often than not, he'll convert it. Great body control. Brooklyn's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. The pass to Levert. Prince outside. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Nice D from DeRozan. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That's foul number two for him. And some changes here for the Spurs. Lyle comes in for Rudy Gay. And it's Bellinelli in for Derek White. Harris is checked in for Brooklyn. Here's Aldridge. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. A chance now to check out how the all-star voting is shaping up. And I tell you, the excitement starting to ratchet up a little bit as the tallies start coming in. You look at Irving, he's out in front in the East, a superstar talent certainly worthy of accolades. And getting the kind of attention you'd expect for a player having the kind of season he's having. And it seems like the anticipation just continues to build each year around this time of the season. Going to be a fantastic weekend. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Mills looking it over. It's tipped. Aldridge against Jordan. Aldridge misses. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Irving dishes to Prince. Mills with it. He's picked up by Jordan. On the wing, DeRozan. And the layup is good. DeRozan's got four points now in the quarter. Physical defense, but DeRozan with great focus and great upper body strength. Irving passes to Prince. Here's the three. Nice D from DeRozan. 
San Antonio's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. One of the best mid-range shooters in the NBA, DeMar DeRozan makes a living from this spot. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. And there's Chandler. That's good. On the assist by Irving. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. A rebound by the Nets. Jordan's got nine rebounds now tonight. On the wing, Harris. Over Bellinelli. Here's Jordan out to Harris. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what was your plan for tonight? I was trying to get assist in the beginning, and um, I'm just having a good time out here. Got it going a little bit. Enjoying myself. Okay, Kyrie, we'll see you in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. There. And I'm Kevin Harlan. Kevin Durant was on fire in the first half. He ended up with 15 points, four rebounds, and one block. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? They looked like they were playing an easy game of pitch and catch out there. The playmakers and finishers were in sync on every level. The assist disparity, now that was big. Now that's the reason why it's a blowout right now, and they play well. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Sloppy ball, way too many wasted possessions, chucking up threes, missing them. I could hit more threes than that, Ernie. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside because that's what it's going to take. If they were hitting more threes, that would be a different story. But if if was a fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. It's Aldridge at the power forward with Pirtle at center. Murray out there with Derek White. And it's DeRozan in at the small forward position. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. That shot is off. Brooklyn's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Lavert. San Antonio with the rebound and the call will be against Karis Levert. That's foul number two for him. The Spurs shooting a pretty sorry 29% from the floor here. Here's Murray. Brooklyn with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Levert. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Thank you. 
That one is off. And he's good on the second. And the Spurs with possession. Now here's White. Kicks to Murray. Inside, six on the shot clock. Here's Aldridge. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And in a league that's obsessed with threes and layups, LaMarcus Aldridge defying the trend, really feasting on a steady diet of mid-range jumpers. That's good from Aldridge. And that turnaround jumper of Aldridge's. Greg, just impossible to defend. Long arms, that high release point. When it's falling, well, we saw him give OKC 56. This man can take over. No good on the second free throw. In 2006, when Aldridge was drafted, he went second overall. Judging from the multiple All-Star appearances, that's justified. It's good. And that's now 17 points for KD. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they've executed. Here's Murray. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Here's Pirtle. They grabbed their own miss. Here's Aldridge. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Aldridge has got nine points. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Irving passes to Prince. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And a four-year player at Baylor, Torian Prince, something of a surprise lottery pick back in 2016. But Greg, he's become a very valuable player. You know, he, he's one of those two-way power wings that, that it seems every team wants. A, a dependable three-point marksman who holds his own defensively. Shooting two. And that one falls for Prince. Back at Baylor, Torian Prince didn't start until his senior season, Smitty. But a surprise lottery pick that summer of 2016. His frame, Kevin, and athleticism, he's NBA ready. And the work ethic to continue his development. And both free throws good for Prince. To succeed in this league, you can never be satisfied. It's a certain mentality, and Prince has that. Pirtle kicks to Murray. Back to Pirtle. Passes to Aldridge. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Pirtle shot is off. Ugly start to this half, hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Pass to White. Back to Murray. DeRozan, DeRozan, DeRozan. The dish to Aldridge. Cloak loose. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Now here's Irving. 12 points for him. Outside Jordan. Back to Irving. And it's good assisting on the play was Jordan. 14 points for Kyrie Irving. For a guy who is 6'3", Kyrie shows us 
He has great confidence playing inside. Here's Murray. He gets it in there. Nice touch there near the hoop. The Nets have gone two of four here to start the second half. Irving against Murray. Irving passes to Levert. He kicks to Prince. And Pirtle sends it back. Gotta love the shot blocking ability of Pirtle. Wonderful timing right there. The Spurs making a switch here. Forbes checked in. San Antonio's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to DeRozan. Fades away and misses it off the right side of the rim. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, my cousin LaMarcus Aldridge is not the flashiest player, but he is respected. His former teammate in Portland, C.J. McCollum, said he hasn't changed his game to try and fit the new NBA. He shoots mid-range, scores under the basket, strong as heck. He knows who he is. And Kevin, LaMarcus isn't really my cousin, but his game never goes out of style. You're right, D.A., and he is still getting it done. Thank you. It's common to see wing players improve their perimeter shooting in the league, but DeMar DeRozan's most striking growth has been his ball handling and playmaking. He's been dynamic with the ball in his hands. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. And Greg DeRozan watching a ton of films of guys like Andre Miller and, and Sam Cassell operating in the pick and roll. And not only that, Kevin, to, to strengthen his left hand, he'd use it for daily activities like writing, leaving no stone unturned to become an expert initiator. Rudy Gaze checked in for San Antonio. And here's KD for three. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Murray outside. In transition, here come the Nets. And the shot goes in. Eight points for Spencer Dinwiddie. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball smart basketball defensively turning into easy points here's Murray Spencer Dinwiddie picking up that last basket and the pass to Gay with his first shot attempt Forbes can't get it to go and well he's gonna have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot low percentage chance if it's not there Give up the rock. Trust your teammates. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And Murray's got the ball here for the Spurs. Passes it to Gay. Rebound, Brooklyn. Allen's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Irving from long range. It's not going to go for him. Murray, defensive effort. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Good D by Irving. The Nets have gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Pass to Claxton. Over Pirtle. Five to shoot. Claxton no good. No one on him. 
He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more time with that shot. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Now here's Durant. 17 points in the game. Allen surveying the D. Dishes to Irving over Murray. Kept alive. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet. Timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Irving against Murray. Left side, KD. Shoots over DeRozan. And there's KD. That's good on the assist by Irving. Irving's got six assists here tonight. Murray against Irving. Murray, the pass to DeRozan. Elbow shot is on the way. Here's Pirtle. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Brooklyn called for the foul. And Pirtle using his frame well, drawing the defense into him on his shot. The defensive impact of Jakob Pirtle giving the Spurs a boost. Great timing and instincts as a shot blocker. First free throw is good. And coming to San Antonio in the Kawhi Leonard trade, the Spurs hoping Pirtle can be a difference maker. You know what, Kevin? Already their best role threat offensively. He rarely misses with his right hand in close. Here's what San Antonio's going with right now. Miles check in for DeRozan. Bellinelli comes in for Bryn Forbes. And it's Mills in for Murray. What you love about Jakob Pirtle is his size. A seven-footer who plays hard on both ends of the floor. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Gay dishes to Bellinelli. And here's Mills. No points in the game yet for him. Gay, that's a two-pointer. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. For Brooklyn, they've gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Chandler kicks to Harris. Pirtle against Allen. Can't connect from 13 feet out. San Antonio's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Mills passes to Gay. Banked in off the glass. Gay's got 15 points. Perfect vision. Mills getting quicker these days at spotting the open man. Dinwiddie with it. Eight points for him. Harris finds Allen. Here's Dinwiddie. And a miss there on the triple. Spurs shooting right around 41% from the field in quarter three. Gay dishes to Mills. Back to Gay. Now here's Mills. Defense right on him. And it goes down two points. Mills has got his first points of the night. Nice conversion off the pick and roll. Patty with the right read. Takes it himself. Harris outside. Pass to Chandler. Here's Claxton. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. And here's Harris from the arc. Hits it from three-point range. Harris has got his second bucket tonight. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Bellinelli with the three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Brooklyn's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Dinwiddie passes to Harris. That shot misses. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Bellinelli against Dinwiddie. 
Bellinelli dishes to Mills. There's the pass to Gay. From deep three-point range. But they get it back. Dinwiddie against Bellinelli. Here's Pirtle and the dunk by Pirtle. Great recognition by Pirtle. Slicing through the defense in these pick and roll sets. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 39% from the floor since the half. Not really what they had in mind. Dinwiddie outside. Unloads from 13. And that one hits back iron. The Spurs have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. No good on the free throw. Derek White's checked in for Rudy Gay. And the second free throw, good. 114 left in the third quarter of the game. Now, here's Lavert, covered by Mills. Lavert kicks to Prince. Allen passes to Lavert. And again, it's the Nets missing. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. White bounce pass. Lyles passes to Mills. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. One of the smallest men on the floor, Mills using his quickness against good interior defense. The 55th pick back in 2009. Those picks don't hit very often, but Greg Patty Mills now with a decade in the NBA. Six foot nothing. And that may be generous. The Australian Mills, a dangerous pull-up shooter, and he does not back down. That one misses for Mills. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. To the paint. Here's Allen. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Levert's got assist number five here tonight. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. San Antonio's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Passes it to Lyles. Wide open look. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Prince and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Marco Bellinelli picks one up. Certain things make Prince a tough cover. Strength, long arms, quickness that can surprise you. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And, and he's there at 71 from the line this season, probably below where you'd like to see him. And that one falls for Prince. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Allen kicks to Harris. From past the arc. And the Nets, another three. Letting a guy sneak by for a putback off a free throw, that, that is inexcusable. Here's Mills. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Nets out in front. Opening up a huge gap.
and fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Brooklyn's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Karuch. Luwawu is out there with Garrett Temple. Then it's Jordan, and it's Harris in at the three slot. Here's Luwawu. Shot clock at six. Here's Temple. The rebound by Medu. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Down low, here's Lyles. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got his 16th rebound on the night. And it's Harris off the drive. Here's Luwawu, covered by Mills. That one goes in. You've got to hand it to DeAndre. His relentless approach on the boards paying dividends. And there's the call on Garrett Temple. That is his first foul of the game. And for a team schedule that includes four games and five nights, sports writers have introduced the term schedule losses due to fatigue. I just don't think that's very good, but it's a reality right now. Yeah, it is. And sometimes, Kevin, you know these games, you, you travel a lot. Your legs are just done, and that's when you have to rely on a total team, play more guys. But it happens. You can't get out of this quicksand. You're going to have those type of losses. Here's Johnson following the basket by DeAndre Jordan for three. The shot by Johnson, no good. For Brooklyn, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Jordan at the elbow. To the middle, looking for Harris. He gets it there. Here's Karuch. Unable to get that one. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. And it's blocked. Here's Luwawu. Knocked loose. Here is outside. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. From 13, Mills can't hit. Brooklyn's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. For three, Harris. San Antonio with the rebound. And Walker kicks to Lyles. Back to Walker. Pass to Lyles. Johnson outside. Walker with a clean look. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Here's Luwawu. Pass to Harris. High arcing shot. Temple gets the bucket. Temple's got his first basket of the night. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Doesn't go for him. Yeah, well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Here is outside. Let's it go from 11. 
Bank shot, no good. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Walker. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. For Brooklyn, they've gone 3 of 8 here in the fourth quarter. Luwawu, the pass to Harris. Here's Luwawu. Harris finds Jordan. The Nets working the ball around now. And the basket by Karuch. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. The Spurs shooting just 31% in the game. Here's Mills. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. For Brooklyn, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Steve, it seems like criticism of NBA officials is reaching a very interesting level. We see players, coaches, and, and now even executives confronting these officials over their calls. You know, I know we love the word transparency, but I think also for these referees, because of technology as well, we're seeing these players from so many different angles, and we all we want to talk about it. We're coaches and executives and players, are the plays they miss, and I think that's what we're, I think, Putting too much energy in. Brooklyn with the ball, following the bucket by the Spurs. Harris, no good. And Luau Cabarro is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. The Spurs making a switch here. Forbes checked in. Walker taking his time here. And Forbes kicks to Johnson. The pass to Forbes. Here's Lyles in the dunk by Lyles. Cutting his teeth in the Spurs system, Forbes has improved at keeping his eyes up and finding the open band. On the free throw, no good. NBA gets headlines daily. You know what does, Smitty? A around the calendar, there's no off-season, but does the added scrutiny put more pressure, you think, on the players? Yeah, I think it does. I think it. now you look at it, everybody wants to see what you're doing in the off-season. And 24-7, you look at it right now, everybody has a camera phone, and everybody is looking for the stars, what they're doing uh, off the court. And it's Karuch missing. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And it's Lyles in the corner. Johnson outside. Lock at six. This one for three. The rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Luau, covered by Lyles. Pass to Claxton. Here's Karuch. And again, it's the Nets missing. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Claxton, no good. San Antonio's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Forbes dishes to Walker. A rebound by the Nets. To me, there's a fine line between being aggressive and just flat out forcing it. His inability to make shots right now is sinking the ship. All oh, the, the officials are all over that one. You know, Steve, the business part of the NBA very strong, but Commissioner Silver doesn't want to be complacent either. No, he doesn't. He's always been forward thinking they're doing a good job of being proactive. And doing a good job of just throwing out ideas. And Shooting what I two. love the most, Kevin, working with the Players Association. I'm with you. And he makes the first.
He's perfect from the line this time. Steve, for players, success brings so many opportunities, but sometimes the glitz and the glamour and the lifestyle get in the way of success on the basketball court. You know it does, Kevin. A lot of these guys have a lot of things going off the court, and you want to encourage that. It's just when anything off the court starts to affect on the court, then it becomes a problem. Some guys can handle it from the beginning. Others need to mature before they can find that balance. The rebound by Medu. Medu's got his fifth rebound in this one. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Here's Temple. Pass to Karuch. So much new technology. A lot of it's so exciting, Steve. Did you see the demo of the jersey that can uh, change a player's <laughs> name and number the other day? Wow, that was something. I did. <laughs> I saw the demonstration that Adam Silver did. It is fantastic. I was, I was thinking about myself, Kevin. I played for seven teams. That's a lot of changing of the name and number. Yes. That really is. <laughs> Here's Chandler. After the basket by San Antonio. Over Johnson. Nails the 16-footer. Six points for Wilson Chandler. It looked like the defense just flat out froze out there. Clear breakdown in communication to allow that easy bucket. Forbes the pass to Johnson. Miles inside. Can't get it to fall. Brooklyn's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Temple can't get it to go. Temple's gone one of three shooting so far. Pass to Walker. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Walker's got his first bucket of the night. Creating for others. You just love the instincts Forbes has for the game, especially on the offensive end. The pass to Claxton. Shoots over Lyles. That one a little long. And the Spurs with possession. Here is Forbes. Kicks to Walker. Lays it up and banks it in. Walker's got four this quarter. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Here's Temple. Over to the wing. It's stolen by Wiles. Here is Forbes. Johnson outside. Passes it to Lyles. Fade away. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And likes the view from there. He, he's a strong mid-range shooter. And with that height, he can get a clean look on any shot at any time. Here's Luau. Let's the three fly. The shot, no good. And the Spurs with possession. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Walker. It's tipped. And Tidy gets the jumper to fall. 132 left to play in the final quarter. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Nets. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions and the nice night it ended up being for DeAndre Jordan. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebounds. Jared Allen's checked in for Brooklyn. Outside, Walker fires the three. They get it back. Medu, it's blocked. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Out to the right wing. It's stolen by Johnson. 
In transition, here comes San Antonio. Johnson's got the ball. There's Walker with the three. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Re really surprised a little bit to see him drift out to the three-point line, but I guess I shouldn't be if you can stroke it like that. Here's Temple. Pass to Claxton. That one wide left. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. There's Walker with the three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Here's Temple. Off on the layup. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. DeAndre, where did you try to make the most impact tonight? Um, just trying to limit those guys to one shot. They have a really big team, so keeping them off the board. Um, but, you know, setting screens and rolling, putting pressure on those guys. Our guys are shooting the basketball, so we really opened it up for easy looks. That is how you can impact the game without touching the ball, DeAndre. Thank you. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.